You could consider yourself familiar with America's national parks and still might not have heard of what is often the least visited national park in the lower 48. It's also the most revisited national park. I'll give you a hint. I'm zooming in on it. Isle Royale National Park, or is it Royale? Potato, potato, according to the park rangers, but I'll pronounce it how they pronounce it. Welcome to Isle Royale. <laughs> Legend lives on from the Chippewa on down the big lake they call Most visitors to Isle Royal are hikers or backpackers who plan multiple night loops or might do a through hike from one port to the other between Windigo and Rock Harbor. Travis and I, on the other hand, prefer the way of water, and this is mainly in part due to what lies beneath. Now, I'm usually not one to spot burn when it comes to my hunting and fishing honey holes. I wouldn't want my millions of YouTube subscribers, future terms speaking, to flock to these spots and ruin them. However, I'm a little torn what to do here with Isle Royal because it's already naturally metered due to limited capacity on the ferry, which only takes a couple trips a week to the island, and that's only for a few months of the year. So, should I give up our spots? Did we even do any good fishing? I guess if you stay tuned, you'll find out. Yeah! yeah! Hell of a laker! This trip takes a lot of ambition. You have to endure a little bit of miscomfort. You're probably going to be pretty wet. It costs a bit of money, and it is physically demanding. If you're willing to go through all of that, you know what? You deserve to enjoy the beauty and the bounty of Isle and seeing it the way that we saw it. If you ask Travis and I, the best way to see Isle is from the water. So here's a breakdown of everything you need to know to replicate the trip. The trip that was so nice, we did it twice. The most impressive way to get to Isle is by seaplane, however it can't carry a canoe so that option was out. To go by boat, one option is the Ranger 3 ferry that leaves Houghton, Michigan to Windigo or Rock Harbor on certain days of the week and returns the following day. Since I lived in Minnesota, Travis met me there, and there's two ferries that leave Grand Portage, Minnesota. The Sea Hunter 3, but that only goes back and forth between Windigo. So we took the Voyager 2, which stops at Windigo for an orientation and a permit. Then it goes all the way to Rock Harbor, making a couple stops on the way, docks at Rock Harbor for the night, and then returns, making a few more stops on the way back to Grand Portage, Minnesota the following day. If you're leaving from Minnesota, you have the option of staying in Grand Marais, where you can find a patio and soak in the views of the biggest freshwater lake on the planet. Or you can stay in Grand Portage, save yourself from an early wake-up call and drive in the morning, and you have options between a campground or a casino hotel. And if you're savvy like Travi, you might just make a little bit of money. Grand Portage Casino Hotel. Staying for the night, catching the ferry in the morning. And since we got 15 free players dollars, Go check out the slot machines. <laughs> Pull out a cool G. What a way to start the trip, Travi. Thousand bucks, baby. Trip's paid. Oh. Hi, I'm Bob Ross. <laughs> Actually on time this year for the Isle Royal Ferry. Instead of a minute before and being told we almost missed our trip like last year. Much more uh, relaxed embarking. Stairs coming up to the pilot house. You can all up the steps if you have any questions or need anything. Um, once we're underway, you can sit on the balls. Up through dead when the skies of November turn gloomy. Your first stop is at Windigo, where you're greeted on the pier by an energetic park ranger giving you an orientation of aisle. Then you get your permit, which is as simple as telling your planned itinerary to staff, who writes it down and hands you your permit. 
In case your loved ones report you didn't come home, they know where to start looking for your body. Our plan was to spend Wednesday night in McCargo Cove, wake up early Thursday morning with a grueling one-mile portage to Chicken Bone Lake, spend some time fishing Chicken Bone Lake, then portage 0.1 miles to Lake Livermore and paddle straight through without fishing, a 0.4 mile portage to Lasage Lake, paddle straight through again, then a 0.6 mile portage to Lake Ritchie, where we would fish our way to the campsite on Lake Ritchie, which is where we would spend Thursday night. Friday, we would wake up, fish Lake Ritchie a little more. Then we had a 0.5 mile portage to Intermediate Lake. We would paddle straight through Intermediate Lake and then have a short 0.3 mile portage to Lake Siskowit, where we would fish our way to the Wood Lake campsite and stay on Lake Siskowit Friday night. Saturday morning, we would wake up and fish Lake Siskowit a little more, then paddle into Wood Lake and have a half mile portage to Lake Whittlesley. We would fish our way through Lake Whittlesley on the way to the 0.6 mile portage to Chippewa Harbor. We would fish our way to the campsite and we would spend our last night, Saturday, at Chippewa Harbor campsite. Sunday morning, we would wake up and the Voyager 2 would pick us up and take us back to Grand Portage, Minnesota. Then you get your pass, pay with cash or check, no cell service for credit cards. Then back on Voyager 2 for another couple hours on the north side of the island as we headed to McCargo Cove. We did fish McCargo Cove on our Michigan fishing licenses since it's part of Lake Superior, but the water was crystal clear. You could see the bottom 50 feet deep and it was a calm, sunny day. Not a good recipe for fishing. We had no luck aside from a lake trout striking Travis's lure, but not hooking on. And of course, we were told the other campers back at McCargo Cove saw a huge northern pike from the pier. A nice perk of the campsites where there's ferry stops is they have nice wooden shelters that are rainproof and bug proof. Fortunate because it rained overnight enough to fill Travis's bowl. For our second trip, we decided not to fish and stay in McCargo Cove for the first night and instead gathered our gear off the ferry and immediately bombed down the 1.2 miler straight to Chicken Bone Lake. Second 20 inch walleye and we just haven't gotten out of this bay yet. Started the trip, trolling our way to camp. Travis is filling up the stringer himself right. personally. Last year we were catching under 18s, now this year it's just we're catching their grandpas, they're getting thrown up. Trav's doing all the work for dinner here. He's already got three of them on the stringer for us. I gotta switch to the lure he's using, the rattle trap, so I can start having some fun. Right, man, let's put a tail, let's do a tail pinch here. Oh, that's right about 20. That's about the same as the other one. I'll catch 20s all day. 20s all day. Nice. Let this one go. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Let 20 inch while I go. You've had a rough day. Your turn for the net job. Yeah, you've had a rough day. Both times. Northern? I think so. What do you got on? Uh, pike or uh, ooh, nice one? big one. Walleye Rapala. Nice. <laughs> Good work, net man. I can take the rim. It's a beauty. Got you it. Want to, you want to have a lot of lobster tonight? <laughs> I think we could go ask Steve if he wants a lot of lobster. Nice, dude. No, we'll feast like kings. You want to actually? Yes. <laughs> we'll keep it overnight. It's got to be another pike. It just seems like pike central. And it, I don't think it's as big. I see it's a pike. I'll just fish grabbers it. We don't need it, right? There. He's too small. Yeah. But he's kind of fun. Yeah. You want me to net him? No. Sure. No net. I'm just gonna grab him. Whoops! Without putting them into you. My yeah, it feels good. Could be a massive walleye. We'll see. It doesn't feel as big. It's a walleye. Get the walleye. <laughs> Having fried walleye. Boy, walleye born. with the pole mans. <laughs> this is your first walleye. That first willy. Nice. Hey, that's uh if I catch a lake trout, is that a circuit? Perch? 
walleye, pike, yeah, laker. Mitchie's on the board. About time. It's been pretty skunk city. What do we have? Skunk so far. Self net. This is risky. It might be the big. Oh no. That's the fiver. We got five bucks on the biggest walleye and that is a hog. Holy bitch. I, I, you thought it was pikey. It gave a, took your line out a couple times. Jeez, you, I just said you're gonna owe me five bucks. Right after Trav gives me his Holy uh, shit. lure, worked out. Excuse my French, but tape measure. Oh, you got her. There. I already know I'm beat, so I'm just accepting my fate. That's 21. And you're not showing the camera. <laughs> you don't trust me. That's a 21 tail pinch. Look at that. Look at that. Right there, clear as day. Hold her up one more time. That's a, good, that's a good thrill hunting walleye. Good thrill hunting Willie. Well done, Mitch. Here we are, just packing up the camp from Chicken Bone West. Had some storms last night. A little bit of rain while we were fishing. Had the tarp up. A couple big thunders and lightnings. That was kind of cool. Thunder Boomers lightning show. So today we got three portages. So we're gonna fish Chicken Bone on the way out. And we got Livermore, Lesage, and then we're camping Richie. Should be the last time we see a human is this morning. So we're right on the trail, the through hiking trail. A couple people saw, but now we're heading into the true wilderness. The canoe only area. Oh. Exclusive. Northern country. Snake pikes. Alley. Lots of pikes coming up today. Should be good. Well, I gave Mitch my lure because he was sulky. Just kidding. <laughs> and look at him. Oh, it is a willy. It's a walleye. Oh my god, another nice walleye. Get me caught up in the walleye volume. We are getting you caught up. Well done. It's weird, it's uh, you go through a patch of northern and then you go through a patch of walleyes. It's like they each have their own little territory. Nice. That'd be a good eater. Uh, that was pretty intense. Feels good. We got two really tough ones out, and now we've got yeah. just to look, yeah, fishing, fishing ahead and setting up camp. A little windy out here, but we'll make it work. Geez, it's nice to know the worst is behind us. And of the two campsites, one of them is just like on this peninsula, on the other side. Yeah. And then the other campsite's way down there, but that's a trail site. So the campsite's right there. Yeah, we want to be able to. Um, are we Troll. going right to the troll into the site? They said they they says Richie is the one. That's what. Who told us? Was Steve tell us that people are having luck on Richie, or did other people yes. also tell us that? The guy that Steve told us today that. Did they? Yeah. Do you know of walleye potential in here? Uh, it is not. Not a walleye. Lake. This is the one that has pumpkin seeds. Oh, dude! You think it's got perch? We should go jig around. It has perch and pumpkin seeds. Let's, we should totally jig Mighty Mites around weed beds and have like a perch breakfast. Look at that baldy to the right. Holy shit, dude. What do I got? Snag or what? Yeah, I have no idea the depth. And Oh, fish on. Big one. Feels like uh, 37 inch. Just kidding. It's not huge, but. Snake, it's a snake. I got her under control. Yeah. Whoa. Catch one right at the boat. 
Oh, good, he got off. Fish on. Let's hope it's lobster. Not a lobster. Snake girl? Small spike of the trip. What's that worth? <laughs> Bait fish. There. Nice Good. work. Trav, you got dinner on the line? Nope. Snake. There's a snake following it. Oh, I'm on. Double. Daily double. You have a lot of that. This one's got a little fight. No, I can grab it. I don't think it's no it's snake. No good. Oh, I get to get slime. Nickelodeon. Bigger than what we got, I think. I should just fish grab them. Yeah. I'm just right at the top of the net. That's how you want them. Yeah, good work. Good net job. Oh, for being picky. That's the best one, I think. Probably the best. Yeah. You gotta give a tip to the net, man. Get the that was a good nut job. Get, get the net for you. Very nice. You always put the head at the top. I will say that was professionally done. <laughs> Whew. Nice job. Nice fish. I gotta deal you got with... Good, you got that good color, dude. That perch. That's a nice one. Yeah, I'm happy to clean him. Let me see. Boil him. Hold him up when you're done. Let me see. Him. Yeah. Spit it up. Spit it up. Yeah, he saw the whole thing. So we came, we saw, we fished. Lake Ritchie, fish some stuff new from last year. Last year is where we found our famous Snake Alley right up around the corner here and didn't catch much coming in from the portage last year or this year. Hoping we'd find some bigger pickerel pikes out here, but after fishing even more thoroughly the rest of the lake, finding some kind of weird depths and contours and stuff, caught a couple cleaning worthy pike for the uh, poor man's lobster meal tonight. And that's the plan. We'll we'll get deep some meat off these guys. And we'll, we'll deep fry a couple too. Yeah, we could do a little, yeah. little combo. Some deep fried, yeah. some uh, short pike, lunch. Pike, pan couple fried their, pike a couple different ways will be good. Some uh, poor man's lobster boiled in sugar water and yeah. salts and a couple spices and dipped in garlic butter, melted garlic butter. You had, a, you had a nice one, you got bit off. It took your leader and, yeah. your, and your lure, it's man. So, like, and lure just poof. Fish, fish, tug, tug, gone. Big. Yeah, so there, there's a big one out there, but mostly that size or smaller, so it is what it is. It's snake Lake. It's not Snake Alley anymore now, it's Snake Lake. Mitch just filleted a bunch of Northern. Got some Cheetos, Cheesy Mac, <laughs> water, whiskey, blackberry brandy. And this is living. What else did you ask? We're gonna hit, get to hear the loons. This is, this is the nature part. Snake lakes. Probably I mean, it's intermediate, so. It's like catch a couple just trolling with trolling with the lures we got on and the rod holders from here. I mean, if we're gonna leave them on for the portage, it's probably a good way to carry the rods, anyways. Yeah. Last chance for that 40 incher out here. <laughs> I saw a fish kind of hit the top, and I cast right at it and got him. Dude, that's a dream fishing scenario when that works, you know? That's, never work, that never works out. No. But when you can get to the point where, like, you're expecting it's gonna take it, that's that's a good fishing, dude. Decent pike lake. Man, you gotta, you gotta get a pike from the gap. Look at that, it's a nice pike. Fish on. I'll, I'll do the grabbers. I don't think it's a uh, 40 incher. It's not a bad fish though. Same one I had. Could have been the same Ooh, one. Oh, and he gone. Even better. 
Nice to get a peek at them, and then you don't have to deal with them. Oh, fish on. Every cast, dude. That feels like a big one. Floppy. Yeah. And he unhooked himself. Whew. I could get some of the best photography ever of a loon right now. Should I? I don't want to, but I feel like they're going to dive and then I take my camera off. Dude, I'll, I'm, I got my SLR right here. Switching to zoom lens. Are they, are they a duck species? Not exactly sure, I guess. That's cool. Like that. Yep, you're right. Not too bad. That's good. We're both doing well not dropping any critical tools in the water. Usually uh you find a honey hole, Trav, you gotta make a nickname for the spot. Code name for the name of the lake. What would you call this, like? The Snake Alley. Hope. Oh. Let's see, it's noon. Um, 11.24 Central. That might be a good course of action. 45 pound Kevlar canoe, probably pushing 50 pound packs with all the gear we have. Canoe seats, four rods, rod holders, PFDs, all soaking wet and attached to the canoe. You figure the guy probably has about 120 pounds on his shoulders. Hey, come back. Yeah. Things fall asleep on me. And... Yeah. Oh, I hate like that. I couldn't, I couldn't keep going. It was like stinging too bad. Yeah, yeah. just a hot spot. So I just, every time I took a break, it felt really good though. Go ahead, bounce for you. I hate that. Wooden yolk, dude. So. Oh. Rolling? Yep, just started. I think we got a laker on, boys. Focus on the fish, baby. We got this. It's just a brick on the bottom. This could be dinner. It's uh, five minutes into our. Let's go in lake here. We gotta see what we got. It does it is pulling up, Greg. It's sitting right on the bottom. Oh no. Careful. Oh, no. He got off. Oh no, dude. It got off. Oh that sucks. Dude, that was total laker. I know. <sighs> How did it get off? Redemption song, baby. I'm gonna keep that tension sideways, cause I'm gonna turn it. I'm gonna turn it so I can net it. He's trying to come up. Uh... All right. Here, here it is. All right. Easy now. Laker. Easy now. Oh, yeah. Hell of a laker! Yes. Alright, well, careful with your rod. You may want to open your bail. Alright, yeah. yeah. You're open, you're loose. Hell yeah. Alright, you got some slack to work with. Okay. Woo. Secure that baby, that's dinner. And I'll get it on the stringer. He is cold blooded. Holy shit. Look at him. Careful, baby. Oh, I got my phone back there. I got, hey, I can take a GoPro snap, but. Yeah. There we go. Dude, that thing hit a surface bait. <laughs> Dude, it did. Yeah. Look at these trout. Uh, I don't think I gotta measure it. It's not over 25 and a half, but you don't gotta. I think it could be. Here. 
Tail pincher 24. Nice fish. 24. Did yeah. you eat him? You want to, or I mean, oh. we have an entire lake trout at home. Try. If you want to try to keep it for tomorrow, but well, I think we can get them whenever we want them, Trav. Nice fish. That's sweet. So I see my GPS breadcrumbs on the map on deeper. I'm gonna take us right back at those fish marks. We're at 18. Let's see if your high tech shit works here. Mitch Kashub guarantee, Trav. 16. We'll bank right before we get to that shallow reef. We're at 20. <laughs> We're, yeah. Oh, I got one. <laughs> that was a spot, man. That was a spot. Wow, that's not this. Coming right up. That's you bet. Gotta just tip straight up, bring them right out of the depth. You bet. Oh, and the lure's out now. Good thing you didn't roll. Oh, careful, man. Lure's in the net. Nice. All right. Might have to open. Oh, yeah, you get the lure or open bail. There you go. Whew. You got the GoPro going? Yeah, get a good gill. Or, yeah. You'll hold underneath them. Yeah, nice go. dude. That's a great eater. It's if nice, we, if we nice were gonna eat them, I would eat that one. If it's 15, we'd check, but I think it looks like that's a good eater. If, but we don't need any. Don't See ya. need to eat. <laughs> <laughs> Mitch Kashub guarantee. Mitch Kashub guarantee. You saw it live. You can set it back for me, I'll get it. I'll try it. Okay, self net job, take one. Come on, nice one. Yeah. Self netter. Yeah. Nice. Good job, Trevi. And show me. I don't know. Twenty two, twenty three maybe. Twenty one, twenty two, yeah. Yeah. Something. Pretty fish. Got a little little leech on him. Parasite? Something. I don't know if it's good or not. Guess it'll stay. That right fish mark. I said we won't catch a fish here. Yep. In the middle of nowhere. Here we are with another laker. He's gonna try to get this out. That's another trout. All right, man. Ooh, easy, easy, easy. Ooh, oh! I told you he spits. Yeah. This is the boat. Taking a look at the view. Siskiyou Lake. A lake that shall not be named. <laughs> well, both caught two lake trout around that island over there. And it was a wavy day, but man, start good glassy, glassy, glassy. Good fishing. Good fishing lake. Worth the trip. Lake trout heaven. Oh baby. Got her lit. Can you explain what we're eating here, Trap? Well, there's a large trout in there. Um, a huge hunk of butter you see staring at you on top. We have... It should melt. Oh, some water. We got dried tomatoes. We got a uh, mixed bag. It seemed like it was like corn, celery... Onions, peppers. Uh, onions, peppers, and just a mix of different herbs. So this is gonna a couple be cloves a, of garlic. Basically, a, a Siskiyou Lake trout stew, uh, fish boil. This is gonna be something, something special right here. With storms rolling in behind Travis, we're just sitting under a tarp in a mosquito net, having a fish boil. It's this is your good. It's the end of a good day. This is a backcountry experience. It's the end of a good day. Oh my god. It's just like, look at that. Look at it's that. just like oily butter goodness. Trout. Marinated trout. It was alive two hours ago. Lemon pepper and sweet yeah. and hot 
Salt oh. or uh, spice for the marinade, dry rub. It's just like skin still on, the skin tastes good. Boiled just, in uh, corn and onion and tomato and pepper, dehydrated. Boiled it's the, and simmered. It's the best meal of the trip. Look at that fish. Look, Look at that. that white meat. Glad you wanted to keep two trout. Mm -hmm. This was worth it. Late night snack. As the uh, Earned it. rain starts to fall. That's a nice pike. That's a cisquit pike. Damn. You want to eat them? I think we should string them. What if we don't catch trout? I know. It'd be a big ass lunch, but. Yeah. Could be the only fish we catch with this wind. It's All windy. Right. We'll eat them. This is a nice, nice fish to have. This is the biggest one of the trip. No, I got 32. Really yeah. Close. Pretty close. Yeah. Fat. Got a couple battle wounds and came in super easy. Well, timely. Don't feel like I earned them. <laughs> All right, let's put them on the stringer. This is the arrival of uh, Wood Lake campsite, Lake Siskiwit. Yep. We've made it. Filming on my camera, and a lot of the uh, trip so far, you'll never see the footage. So that is on my phone at the bottom of Lake Siskiwit right now. Uh -huh. Series of unfortunate events, and. Uh, of the canoe and the canoe walls, the sides of the canoe are right next to your hips. The phone was there and I just gone. No phone. <laughs> Can't so, do much about it now, so it's gonna be an abbreviated a little journey. shorter, shorter yeah. YouTube video now. <laughs> yeah. Get some of the last year's footage maybe, but now we're here on Siskiwit looking for Lakers. Found yeah. a big pike. Traffic found a big pike, but yeah. Lakers tonight. Big pike. Oh, I better not drop this in the lake, but he's sitting right about there. 30. Fat one, too. Fat one. I think I played the pike. Never mind. What's that? I was going to see. Do you guys do you guys want to play around the white bone? Is that what you're doing? That's what I'm trying to do. Because yeah. some guy told us this is how you do it. I'm like, yeah. I try. I'll speed it up to spare you from sitting through watching me clean a pike. Meanwhile, though, we made some friends and discussed both of our trips and fishing successes in depth. So if you're looking for fishing tips on Isle Royal, there are some golden nuggets here. I will create a separate video with all of this content and you can find it at the end screen of this video. Pike and subscribe. We got a good shore lunch. We came for Lake Trout, we found a pike. It's pretty rough out there. Uh, that's Wood Lake, that's Cap'n. Siskiwit's Cap'n. No Lakers yet, but we're determined. Fingers crossed for a calm dusk. Yep. Yeah. Hey, first laker of the trip. Come on, baby. Let's hope. I'll take a giant pike at this man, point in time. Fishing all day and just look at the sun. Hopefully, this is a golden hour, man. They're coming in. We need this bad. Remember, he's gonna shoot up. Yep. Keep that tension up. Feels pretty laker-like. Well, that's oh, a laker. That's a nice one. It's a very nice one. Get ready if you get a chance, but oh, he's freaking out seeing you. Get ready. Oh yeah, it looks a, like a good size. There's a meter for sure. You want, some, you want some stew? Yeah, dude, let's get this fish. Come on. Keep it on him. Coming around towards you. Yes! Let's go! Ha ha ha, boy. Yeah. Bail coming open, give me a second. All right. Yeah, Mitch. Nice fish. I'm gonna hand you the net, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna get us out okay. this water. I got the net, yep. Yeah, go get calm shore. Oh my god, dude, had to work for you! <laughs> I'm gonna kiss him, I'm gonna... Jeez, man. Very, very nice. That's a fiver. We're on the board. That's my box. Mm. That's a phone fish. Cha. That's a phone fish. Grabbers is on. Oh my god, dude, you should see how he's hooked. Ever, ever so barely hooked. I got it, players. <laughs> you see that? Oh, that's unreal. I mean, it's like pretty good in his bone, but it's not. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna reach behind and get a stringer, okay? Yeah. Put a tape on him back. I don't wanna risk anything here. You, you gotta hand him to me in the net. Holy crap. 
the schneid. <laughs> you want a you want a picture? I might as well. Yeah. Uh, is this on the picture mode? Yeah, it should be. How do I get to there? I don't, I don't even know. Classic meal here of some trout chowder, lake trout chowder. What's in there, Mitchell? Replicated last year's a couple different ingredients. A little chili seasoning here. Garlic and chive, or garlic and onion cream cheese. Yeah. Bunch of butter, mm -hmm. some garlic pepper seasoning. Um, Himalayan sea salt. Sea salt. And about it. We didn't have it. not much for solid, so pretty much nice just like boiled oily it. Oily stew. Yeah. And we got the deep fried station over here. Fried a little bit too. So we've got trout two ways: a little fry, a little boil. Well, it's our last full day here on the aisle. Mitch, what's for breakfast? Well, this is not your typical backcountry breakfast, but we got some spam with some bacon, Ooh. hash browns, cheese, butter. Yes. This is a that's a skillet backcountry skillet. Meat lover skillet. Meat lovers Isle Royale skillet. You heard it here first. A little windy out there today. Yeah. We got a big lake to cross got in big, the wind. We got a big paddle ahead of us. Mitch got a trout last night. We had a trout boil. Fried trout. Only one trout. That's kind of the head shaker. It was a sunset, just windfall of a trout, and got to eat fish for dinner instead of hamburger helper beef stroganoff. <laughs> <laughs> has not been shooting fish in a barrel on Sisquit, but the wind hasn't helped. We're dealing with 30 mile an hour gusts and in a canoe, it's not ideal. So, today's a little calmer, but still gonna be rough. So, we'll see if we can get our poles in the water after breakfast. Just checking out how it looks out in Siskiwit. It was windy last night, white capping. It was a little tough to fish in, but you just find the more sheltered areas and kind of troll through there. Got to cross that lake, three mile paddle to the portage, straight into the wind. So we're gonna just start fishing in the calm, have camp in the boat, when it gets nice out there, which today it's already a lot nicer than it was last night. Let's fish our way to the portage. We found a nice alternative from our 2021 trip when we had paddled from Siskiwit to Wood Lake portaged into Whittlesley. Supposedly there was walleye in Whittlesley, but we got skunked. Then portaged into Chippewa Harbor and stayed at the campsite there for a 9 a.m. ferry pickup the next morning. The fishing was not great in Chippewa Harbor either. We only caught one perch, it was a jumbo though, and some other campers said they talked to some boaters that caught a coaster brook trout, but we ended up finding that the bays of Lake Superior were kind of hit or miss when it came to fishing. So, in 2022, we paddled three miles across Lake Siskiwit, which allowed us to fish more of Siskiwit, then did a real short portage to Malone Bay, and had two hours later, 11 a.m., for the Voyager 2 to pick us up. Nicer option all around, given knowing what the fishing was like, and we had shelters to stay in. Pretty satisfied with the weather we got. We're a little nervous to cross three miles of Siskiwit with the potential waves and weather we've seen. Pretty smooth sailing today for the middle of the day of what it can be out in this territory. What's up, doggy? Try to take a video on your phone? Yeah. Why are we doing the video on your phone? Mitch's phone is in this lake. <laughs> we found a nice little paradise channel. You don't really find pebbled beaches and driftwood and all that stuff in the north woods so pretty cool spot It'd be awesome for a fire right here had a near miss lake trout Oops. yeah we still haven't had one today but we're on our Malone Bay is up there somewhere we're on our three mile paddle 
Stopping for lunch. We are in 90 feet of water on Lake Cisco at Mitch. Just vertical jigging. Caught a nice one. Look at it. Holy shit, dude. Nice fish. Just dropped a white jig head down. And he hit. Hey, this is found a spot. Woo. Nice trout. Yep. Yeah, the can too. He's like around 20. Really nice, man. Guess keep how, I guess that works. I guess that works. <laughs> <laughs> we don't we don't know what works out here, but a leader on a jig head with a white grub. Alright. Nice job. Dropped it, got to the bottom, jigged it up, slowly reel, jig it up, two jigs, reel it in, two jigs, reel it in. Just kind of lift, let it drop. We caught this trout next to Ryan Island, which happens to be the biggest island on the biggest lake on the biggest island on the biggest lake in the world. And since this was the only laker we caught that day, you could say this is the biggest laker next to the biggest. You get the idea. Trev is out flipping the lake trout over on the grill. In the shelter here, we're cooking a classic backcountry. Hamburger Helper brand with uh, beef jerky. Here's the beef. Coffee for myself. Whiskey water. Whiskey water for Trav's self. And that, folks, is a beautiful backcountry meal. That is going to be a lot of food for two people. It's kind of how we do it. Peel that skin back. Oh, oh. It's just buttery trout. Skin will be nice too. Falling apart, falling off the bone. The skin's like a french fry. Oh baby. Dig in. Using the inReach Mini to check in with our wife. I guess I gotta go outside. Find a sat. Okay, I gotta go outside with my whiskey and send it that I'm safe. <laughs> Malone Bay Ranger Station and our pickup point in the morning. This is my third time seeing Isle in the rear view mirror. You may be wondering if I'll ever go back, and so am I. <laughs>